So let's talk about AMD GPUs, and in particular the new AMD 6750XT. Why should you care? Now this video was brought to you by MSI and AMD. In all aspects as expected, the 6750XT has a noticeable bump over its predecessor, the 6700XT. You see a roughly 5% improvement in most of the games tested here, from Shadow of the Tomb Raider to Doom. So how did AMD do all of this? Well, fundamentally the 6700XT still has the same amount of cores, and a very similar GPU die to the 6750XT. But on a new card, AMD has increased the memory bandwidth, clock speed, as well as the board power limits for the 6750XT so that it's able to run a lot faster in games. It basically has faster memory and can turbo higher and for longer with that increased power limit. This is a nice little performance bump over the older 6700XT, which is nice to consider when choosing your next GPU. But considering that even though AMD and Team Green often trade blows and are neck and neck in terms of raw performance, many still choose Team Green. Let's talk about why you should go with AMD. RDNA 2 features are very impressive, and the 6750XT has support for a couple important things, some of which only AMD can provide. One is AMD's Smart Access Memory, which means you can get a performance boost when you pair one of these modern GPUs, be it 6000 or 5000 AMD RDNA GPUs, with a modern AMD CPU, anything from the 3000, 5000, or the new 7000 series. It allows for the CPU and GPU to communicate if they are basically both team red and reasonably modern, because AMD's architecture allows for the CPU to basically access the GPU's memory when running games or other tasks, which means less bottleneck and faster snappier performance, which is why it's called Smart Access Memory. It's basically a nice little performance boost that you get for being a team rate loyalist, essentially, but it's free performance, so I, I don't know why you wouldn't want it. The next feature I like is AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution, or FSR. You might have seen this in some of the games that you've played recently, especially AAA titles, as it's setting near the bottom beside DLSS. Essentially, it is AMD's answer to NVIDIA's DLSS and it's currently in its 2.0 version which means it has temporal data added into its calculations. What it is is a feature that allows you to run a game at a lower resolution, get the extra FPS that you get from running at a lower resolution and then it upscales it effectively and efficiently using algorithms that are machine learning AI based with a lot of data points and a lot of fancy calculations to basically upscale it but not like traditional upscaling where you're just duplicating pixels that you don't have information about, but you're upscaling it with kind of AI trying to figure out what is in the gaps so that you can reduce and minimize the loss in image quality even though you are upscaling your video to a higher resolution. So it's basically a feature that allows you to squeeze even more FPS out of your game, out of your GPU, without a substantial or extremely noticeable image quality loss, which, you know, sounds like a win to me. And having seen the improvements FSR 2.0 brings, I can honestly say that yes, it is as as good as Nvidia, if not better in some games as well. The next one is a big one for people like me, who are video editors. But you might not care as much if you are just into gaming, but if you're a streamer, you might care as well. That is AMD's Media Engine. Using GPU to accelerate video editing is super useful and pretty much a must-have and lifesaver in terms of productivity and time these days. So if you are video editing, having AMD's Media Engine to accelerate 4K video decoding is absolutely a godsend to allow for smooth and easy video playback for, you know, consistent, quick, stress-free video editing. Oh, and the big thing for me and other video editors now is that not only does DaVinci Resolve support AMD's GPUs for hardware accelerated decoding and smoother video editing, Adobe finally dropped an update that optimized Premiere Pro for AMD GPUs, allowing AMD GPUs to accelerate video editing on Premiere Pro effectively, efficiently, and very, very well, which is like... <sighs> Finally, you can safely edit at crazy speeds with AMD GPUs now, no matter the software. Hey, hey, AMD acceleration everywhere. Let's talk about this particular implementation of the 6750XT from MSI. Now, this is the Gaming X Trio card. It's MSI's new cooler featuring Tox 4.0 fans. It's called the Trifrozer 2, and honestly, I really like the look of it. I think it looks really, really good. It has an RGB lighting strip here, which is awesome, and it has RGB behind the logo, which is good. And these lovely silver accents, I think, are really quite nice to look at as well. It's got a solid black plate and the whole thing feels very, very nice and rigid. It has a total of, I think, about 9 or 10 heat pipes in there from what I've counted. In my testing, it runs pretty darn quiet, except when it's at full tilt, but even then, the sound is quite well managed. Oh, and it even comes with a nice GPU bracket to prevent GPU sag. Okay, so what if you're building a PC around one of these, the 6750 XT? What should you consider? Well, one is to definitely get a modern 3000 or 5000 series AMD Ryzen CPU or the new 7000 series coming soon. One 
that supports uh, smart access memory basically for some extra bonus performance in your overall PC. Make sure you get a nice and fast Gen 4 SSD like the MSI Spatium series SSDs as well because uh, these new GPUs support direct storage which means it can kind of interact with the SSD for extra performance and quicker load times and put it all of that in a nice MSI motherboard since MSI makes excellent motherboards be it X570 or B550 or the new X670 or B670 with the new AMD 7000 Ryzen chips which is really exciting and can't wait to get my hands on. Do make sure however and this is a must to get a high quality 650 watt power supply uh, like for example the MSI A650GF the only GF you will have in your life but that's okay so your computer doesn't have any kind of stability issues and your power supply doesn't die because it's overworked and if you want to do a rig that's thematic and all MSI do check out my all MSI PC build from a month back that's a pretty fun video that you might want to watch so that's why you should consider AMD and their RDNA 2 refresh GPUs with the crypto crash prices are going down and demand is going down for GPUs so these stocks for these GPUs are going back up and in my opinion it's actually a good time to get a new PC soon so are you going to be copying a sick all AMD MSI rig very very soon I want to know in the comments or on discord thank you guys so much for watching and thanks to MSI and AMD for making this video possible and supporting my channel basically because I, I need to keep the lights on all of to you guys if you watch to the end like and subscribe for more content that's even more interesting because we're always trying to improve every single day and join my discord if you have any questions you want to ask or any comments and feedback you want to give